Hi everyone. Today we are going to see about Bayesian inference. First we can see what is Bayes rule. Bayes theorem is also known as Bayes rule or Bayes law or Bayesian reasoning. It determines the probability of an event with uncertain knowledge. In probability theory, it relates the conditional probability and marginal probability of two random events. It was named after the British mathematician Thomas Bayes. The Bayesian inference is an application of Bayes theorem. Before moving to Bayes theorem, let us see some terminologies from probability theory. First is marginal probability. Marginal probability is the probability of an event irrespective of the outcome of another variable. It is an occurrence of a single event. Let's see an example. An exam was taken up by a group of male and female candidates. The probability of pass and fail events are given in the table. Let us find marginal probability for the given table of data. This is the given table. Adding the values along row wise will give the total male and female candidates taken the exam. That is 0.48 for males and 0.52 for females. Adding the values along column wise will give the total number of candidates passed and failed. That is 0.57 for pass and 0.43 for fail. The total probabilities calculated is called the marginal probability. The sum of the total probability values should be 1. Since it is written at the end of each row and column, it has the name marginal probability. Next is joint probability. Joint probability determines the probability that two events will occur simultaneously and at the same time. It is denoted by P of A intersection B. From the example, let's find what's the probability that the candidate is male and he passed in the exam. That is P of male and P of pass. That is P of male intersection pass. The value is 0.27 which is the joint probability value. Next is conditional probability. The probability of one event occurring in the presence of a second event is called the conditional probability. It is given by the formula P of B given A equal to P of A intersection B divided by P of A. B is the event we want to calculate the probability and A is the event that has already occurred. P of A intersection B is the joint probability and P of A is the marginal probability. Let us calculate what is the probability that the randomly selected candidate is female and she passed in the exam. It is calculated by using the formula P of B given A is equal to P of A intersection B divided by P of A. Our B denotes female and A is pass. So we will get 0 0.30 divided by 0 0.57 which is equal to 0 0.53. Now we can move to Bayes theorem. It can be derived using the product rule and the conditional probability of event A with known event B. As from product rule, P of A intersection B is given by P of A given B into P of B. The conditional probability of event B with known event A is again given by P of A intersection B is equal to P of B given A into P of A. By equating the RHS of both equations 1 and 2, we will get P of A given B into P of B is equal to P of B given A into P of A. From this, we can find out P of A given B is equal to P of B given A into P of A divided by P of B. So, this equation number 3 is known as the Bayes theorem. This equation is the basic of most modern AA systems for probabilistic inference. P of A given B is the posterior probability. P of A is the prior probability. That is, estimation of the probability of an event before it has occurred. P of B is the marginal probability. And P of B given A is the likelihood. That is, chance that something will happen. Let us see how to apply base rule. Suppose we want to perceive the effect of some unknown cause and we want to compute that cause, then the base rule becomes P of 
cos given effect is equal to p of effect given cos into p of cos divided by p of effect the conditional probability p of effect given cos quantifies the relationship in the causal direction whereas p of cos given effect describes the diagnostic direction in medical diagnostic we often have conditional probabilities on causal relationships the doctor knows p of symptoms given disease and he wants to derive a diagnosis p of disease given symptoms that is he want to diagnose the disease let us see an example a doctor knows that the disease meningitis causes a patient to have a stiff neck say 70 percentage of the time the doctor also knows some unconditional facts the prayer probability that any patient has meningitis is 1 by 50000 and the prayer probability that any patient has a stiff neck is 1 percentage what is the probability that a patient has the disease meningitis with a stiff neck so to find the solution for this problem let's apply base rule already we know the bayesian formula so here p of a is given as p of meningitis which is given in the problem as 1 by 50000 the value is 0.0002 and p of b is the stiff neck which is given as 1 percentage while converting we will get 0.01 and p of b given a is stiff neck given meningitis that is 70 percentage while converting we will get 0.7 now we can calculate p of meningitis given stiff neck which we will get the value as 0.0014 that is only 0.14 percentage of patients with a stiff neck to have meningitis notice that even though a stiff neck is quite strongly indicated by meningitis with a probability of 0.7 the probability of meningitis in patients with stiff necks remains small this is because the prayer probability of stiff necks from any cause is much higher than the prayer for meningitis one can avoid assessing the prayer probability of the evidence that is here p of s by instead computing a posterior probability for each value of the query variable here it is meningitis and not meningitis and then normalizing the results the same process can be applied when using bayes rule we have p of m given s is equal to alpha into p of s given m into p of m and p of s given not m that is not meningitis into p of not m where m denotes meningitis and s denotes stiff neck the general form of bayes rule with normalization is p of y given x is equal to alpha into p of x given y into p of y where alpha is the normalization constant now we can see how to use bayes rule when there is two or more evidences consider the example of cavity problem to refer about this cavity problem you can refer my previous video using bayes rule to reformulate the problem as p of cavity given toothache and catch is equal to alpha p of toothache and catch given cavity into p of cavity where alpha is the normalization constant now we can derive the relation as p of cavity given toothache and catch is equal to alpha into p of toothache and catch given cavity into p of cavity now p of toothache and catch given cavity can be written as p of toothache given cavity into p of catch given cavity now we can substitute equation 2 in 1 we will get as p of cavity given toothache and catch is equal to alpha into p of toothache given cavity into p of catch given cavity into p of cavity so this is the final equation that we will get after applying the bayes rule for the multiple evidences by using the normalization constant alpha thank you